Hi, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about the evening check-in. What's the evening check-in, I hear you say? Well, it's a similar but very different companion to morning pages. At its very simplest, it's a reflection on the day. While your morning pages are uncontrolled, unstructured, free writing, the evening check-in is more considered. It's really more like what people would think of as traditional journaling. If you've seen my morning pages video, you'll know that I assign four sides of paper in my Lucitum 1917 notebook to each day of the week. So the first three sides are for my morning pages and the fourth side is, is for the evening check-in. And I write at the top of that page, notes, check-in, cue. And the notes are things that pop into my head at the, the usually at the end of writing morning pages. They're not actually part of the morning pages. They're just things I might want to do or think about or consider that have arisen as a result of writing morning pages. And the check-in, that's the, um, the main thing I do, the little bit of writing I do at the end of the day. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Q stands for question. And that's actually uh, one of my favourite parts of this bit of writing. If I'm working on a project or I've got a big decision to make or something like that, and I'm not sure about something, about what to do, where to go, what to write next, or something like that, I'll write this down. I'll ask myself this as a question on this page, last thing at night before I go to sleep. And then what happens is my subconscious works on it overnight. And very often the answer will become apparent in my morning pages the next day. So you might have heard the phrase that you should sleep on it before making an important decision. That's where this comes from. It's the final thing before you go to sleep and you can work on it in the back of your mind. The new thing I've discovered, I was watching one of Ali Abdel's YouTube videos. Um, he was having a conversation with Professor Richard Wiseman. Um, and during the conversation, Dr. Wiseman said this. Uh, we'd ask people to keep a luck diary. And now this was at the time when positive psychology, which now sort of falls under, was, was around, but it wasn't huge. We were, we were doing some work into this. So the luck diary, the end of each day, you write down a sense of gratitude you have for your friends or health or yep. career or whatever. It was called gratitude intervention. Or the best thing that's happened in the last 24 hours. Or something negative that used to happen that no longer happens. Okay. And what that means is you start to build up a written record, and you do have to write it. Mm. If you just think it, it doesn't work. Mm. You start to build up a written record of how lucky you are, how fortunate you are, mm. how good your life is. And that starts to then change people's self-perception. And that's when you start to see these changes in behavior, changes in perception, and ultimately changes in physical health and well-being and, and financial success and so on. So this kindness look thing wasn't something I'd heard about before, but it resonated with me, especially the potential for doing this little bit of writing to have a knock on beneficial effect for the other people around us. You know, we, we what Wiseman is saying is we build our own positive self image that makes us happier and that feeds into those around us. That's that I think that's a really important thing. Um, so I've added that to my own evening check-in routine. So I'm probably going to add now, right, notes, check-in, Q, L for luck, or maybe L, K for luck, kindness. So you might be thinking, why is this important? What's the point of this bedtime writing, Martin, you might be saying. With our busy lives, it's easy to forget the positive things that have happened. We There's this thing called the negativity bias. This is a survival mechanism from when we make mistakes that those things stick in our mind so we don't make those mistakes again. So when we were living in caves, we might, if we touched the fire or something hot or something like that, we'd go, ow, and then we'd sort of, our negativity bias would kick in and we'd like, well, I'm not going to do that again because that's a bad thing. So that's stuck with us. We haven't lost that. So for example, if you're a writer and you publish a story or a book or something like that, you might get 10 fantastic reviews and one bad one. Your negativity bias means that it's the bad one that really stands out and is the one you focus on most. The evening check-in is an active decision to pull something positive from the day that you've just lived and make that a highlight and implant that in your mind before you go to sleep. It's a really powerful, the subconscious mind is a really powerful tool. It's a few minutes spent thinking about successes, 
achievements from the day. Maybe just maybe you just had a nice conversation with someone. Now, a lot of people are working from home. That is becoming an increasingly rare thing. It's important with the evening check-in to be grateful for just something in the day. What are you going to be grateful for? Well, maybe it's the beautiful flower that's appeared on the canner in the garden. Or perhaps Mr. Robin's been to see me. And what about luck? It could be something as simple as the fact that when I took the dog for a walk, we missed the rain. The kindness thing, I think, is, is I really like that one. It's an area where you were kind to someone or in some way during the day. And what I've found is that I'm now looking for moments where I can demonstrate kindness. And that might be as simple as smiling to someone or just being polite or picking up a bit of litter and sticking it in the bin or something like that. You know, it's these don't have to be big things, but compound interest, small things can lead to bigger things. Just a couple of minutes at the end of each day can gradually reinforce our own positive self-image, which can have a great effect on those around us as well. So until next time, bye for now.